Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm going to be demonstrating this line and wash painting for you of some slender birch trees on a sunlit, um, snowy plain with a forest in the distance. As always, I'll be using a limited palette because I find that makes the colour mixing a lot easier and it uh, keeps everything in colour harmony. So I'm going to be starting off by finding a reference photograph and for demos what I like to do is to look through Pixabay which is a royalty free site until I find something that I really want to paint. And this was the photograph that I selected from Pixabay today and I'll put a link to it in the description below so that you can refer to this photograph if you have a go at painting this scene for yourself. So the first thing I did was to sketch out a simplified version of the photograph onto my watercolour paper. I've sped it up here uh, because it can be a bit of a long process, especially for a line and wash, where I then go over the drawing with waterproof fine liners. I like Faber-Castell artist pit pens for these. They're filled with Indian ink and they've got you can get them in various size nibs and so you can use the thicker nibs to get in your darks quite easily and the finer nibs for the really thin twigs and branches. So here is the finished line work uh, ready to paint. I'm just going to leave it for a little while before I wet the page all over to make sure that the ink is fully dried so that it doesn't run. I'm going to be painting it wet in wet to start with so with a large wash brush I shall make sure that the paper is nicely soaked. I'm using Milford 100% um, cotton watercolour paper. It's cold pressed so it's got a nice texture and it's taped to my board. My board's at an angle of about um, 20 degrees so gravity will help me paint but the, the angle isn't so steep that I get a lot of run of paint. So once I've soaked my page, I'll mop up any excess water and then mix up a lovely sky colour using cobalt blue mixed with a bit of um, ultramarine blue to give me this lovely, rich, um, deep winter blue. I shall paint it as a graduated wash using horizontal brush strokes and then I'll work a little bit across the snow introducing a little bit of lavender into my blue colour across the snow just to sort of um, sort of warm it up a bit and give it more of a sort of shadow colour than, than the sky. And then I'll use raw sienna, burnt sienna and sepia and some ultramarine blue to paint in my distant forest.
that's um, just about the first layer and um, the bulk of the painting finished. I'm just going to use my palette knife and just scrape through the damp paint in the forest tree line just to get the indication of the light catching a few birch trunks in the distance so that those paler trunks will just stand out. These marks look a little bit harsh, but because the paint's wet and my board's at an angle, um, a lot of the paint will kind of close in over some of those lines, and so the effect will hopefully be a lot softer, but still effective enough just to bring a bit of life and light to the tree line and to give the continuity of birch trees. I'm now going to leave it all to dry completely. Here it is, it's dried back nicely. It's lightened a little bit, not, but not too much. It's a little bit brighter than it appears here on video because of my studio being a little bit dull during the winter. I'm going to create some dry brush twigs over some of the branches just to sort of bulk them up a little bit to look like all those little twiggy bits at the end of the branches. So I've just tested out my um, number 14, size 14 round brush with some sepia and burnt sienna and burnt umber. A little bit of ultramarine blue as well to make a really nice dark brown. And I'm skimming the belly of the brush across the texture of the paper uh, just to get these little dry brush marks here and there. Not too many, but just here and there. I want to drag that dry paint down across the twigs just to bulk them out a little bit and give the illusion or the suggestion of all those fine twigs. Don't worry if it looks a little bit dark you can just go in and blot those off with a tissue but best to check that you can get dry brush on a scrap of paper like I did first uh, because if your brush is too wet um, you'll get a big flat mark there which isn't going to look right so test it out on a piece of paper and if your paint mix is too wet dab your brush onto a paper towel and that should do the job so that's about the amount of twigs i want not much more than that and just a little bit of paper towel just to dab over some of those darker marks and you can see i've just got that nice soft illusion of those winter twigs and now I'm just going to play around with the foreground a bit, just emphasise the shadows in places. And I'm going to go back to my fine liners and add a little bit more depth and a bit more detail to some of the twigs and plants sticking out of the snow and to a few of the branches if I need them.
And I think I'm pretty close to finishing. And what I like to do, regulars of the channel will know, is to remove the tape. It always looks so much better when the tape is removed. You get that white edge, that white border, and the painting looks a bit more complete. And it gives me the chance to look at it with fresh eyes and to see whether I need to add any more. And I think I'm just going to use um, my Posca pen, which is quite a, um, a large nibbed, 0.7 millimeter nib um, acrylic ink pen, along with a few more sort of finishing touches with the black fine liner too. And these highlights uh, would just sort of create a few lighter twigs running over some of the darker areas of the forest and also bringing those marks across the foreground and where the paint is still slightly damp, uh, those white highlights will soften and diffuse in places and that would give me just uh, yet another sort of layer of texture in the foreground, as well as tone, of course. And I think that will do. Um, so I'll show you how it looks. Um, these are the truer colours. You can see how the cobalt blue and ultramarine have mingled together to make a beautiful sky. And that little addition of lavender into the blue for the snow shadows works really nicely too. Um, as do the sort of earthier colours um, for the distant tree line with some variation in the tone and the hues across the uh, tree line adding to the depth and distance of the painting. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. I always love to read your comments even if I don't get the chance to reply to all of them. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much to everyone that supports the channel on Patreon. We really do appreciate you and we couldn't keep this channel going without you. If you'd like to support the channel, then please follow the links below. Thank you so much and I'll see you again soon and happy painting. Bye.